Hey guys, welcome back to Terraforma Punk. Now I'm currently over by the area where I found some sheep. We've got some nice mountains and a cool ruin in the background there. And I actually found some more sheep. Uh, there's one there and another one there. I killed another male uh, because as you may remember from my single player series, you can actually kill sheep to get sheepskin, which you can, you can take a knife to that and actually get some wool that way. So it's a good idea to actually have some sheep to breed so that you don't kill them all off because animals won't respawn. Like the animals that you have are the animals that you will, like, yeah. You won't get new ones, basically. The ones that you have will not, like, they won't randomly pop up new sheep. So I'm, I'm going to save these two sheep, like this male and the female over there, just in case something tragic happens to the ones we've got back at our base. But if we find any more, I'm probably going to kill them for their sheepskin. And so that we can use that to make a bed and stuff. I believe that's actually a blacksmith. A blacksmith ruin. So that should have some coal or something in there. Uh, hopefully a loot chest. We'll go check that out in a second and maybe scavenge some resources from that. Uh, as you can see, there's like bricks and chisel blocks which we can take. Uh, I, I feel kind of bad like destroying ruins, but it's, it's probably a good idea to do it so that we don't have to wait ages and ages before we can get some chisel blocks and some bricks. I believe there's possibly some more sheep over this way. So I'm going to go check that out. We might have a few lag spikes. I think there's someone else on the server. Yeah, Voodoo Beard is on as well. So the server, like we might have a few lag spikes as it's loading like new chunks over here, new chunks wherever Voodoo is. Uh, but we're going to go check out some stuff, do some exploring. I thought there was some more sheep over here. They're probably further over that way. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to leave those two just in case. In fact, I'm going to go check the cords, put down the cords for them so that I can find them if I ever need them. Let's actually just get the cords for this place. So yeah, we're about 1,500, almost 2,000 blocks away from the base towards the east. And yeah, we have some pretty cool mountains over here as well. We got some coal in the hills there. I believe this is magnetite. I stupidly forgot my uh, my pro pick. Really stupid of me. Mutton, we actually got quite a lot of uh, weight from that. What's that? 51 ounces. I must have a pretty decent butchery skill then. Let's check our skills. Butchering's getting quite good. Prospecting's gone up just from using the prospector's pick a little off camera. And agriculture's getting pretty high, actually, from uh, harvesting crops. So my main aim for this episode is to do some exploring, sa salvage, scavenge some stuff from some ruins. You really have to be careful with these things, though, because they more likely than not, they will have a spawner in them. Uh, these are actually custom ruins. Like, you can build your own and have them spawn in the game. And I think this is one that I built. So I, it's kind of cheaty. I, I actually know where the spawner is in this one, if there is one. So let's go and check it out. You could probably see the uh, the particle effects and stuff if there was a spawner. But I know for a fact that if there is a spawner, it's under this block here. Oh no, it's a, it's a loot chest instead. Okay. Well, that that's awesome. We got a rope from that. Hemp seeds. What the hell is hemp? Well, I know what that is in real life. I've never seen hemp in Terra Firmacraft. Cool. Uh, we're also going to sc uh, scavenge the chests as well because they, as I said, are really valuable. We've run out of inventory space already and the episode's just started. It's not going well. Okay, let's put some seeds in here. I believe now you can only store, like if you look here, you've got light and small. That's like the weight and the... Uh, the value, this one's medium and medium, so you can only store small items in a vessel now, which is kind of cool, kind of annoying. Uh, so yeah, I, wouldn't, I can't store that apple in there, but I can store things with not too much weight. Uh, let's keep those in there, I've got four empty vessels, so hopefully we can get some decent stuff. I probably don't need two stacks of sticks, I don't need that fire lighter. Bones are quite quite good because we can get bone meal from that and we can uh, can use that as a dye now because this is 1.7.10 we can have stained glass which is really cool. I'm going to put these ink sacks away and also the bones and the rope. No we can't put the rope in there. Okay can we put the sheepskin? No. Okay let's, uh, let's get the stuff out of this. I'm going to leave the javelins 
But I am going to take the seeds. Now, what did we have in that other vessel? Hemp, wheat, and potato. And we got rice and tomato from that. So let's put those in a separate one. That one's full now as well. Okay. Good. Let's take the chest as well. Oh, no. I didn't want all those javelins. I did not want all those javelins. We'll throw them out if we need to, or we'll use them if it gets dark again. So yeah, I might, uh, might actually scavenge some of this, these bricks and stuff. It's going to take a long time, though. I really want that smooth diorite, because I love me some smooth diorite. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a few pieces. I'll probably come back off camera to scavenge the rest. Let's actually... Let's put the basalt block back because I'm not going to need that. Right, let's let's go do some more exploring and adventuring. Ouch. We need a drink, so let's go to the water, see if we can see anything else around here. Loads of chickens. This seed has got so many freaking chickens. It's unbelievable. Honestly, I swear, hundreds of chickens. Let's get some food as well and... I will probably come back and harvest some more of that diorite because it's yeah it's not too interesting to watch me just dig out blocks on camera. It takes quite a while as well because we're only at the bronze stage. And it's not even the proper bronze stage. We don't have an anvil or anything. It's just uh, using crucibles to cook metals up. Anyway, let's keep heading this way towards the east. I think this is east. Got to watch out for that hole. See if there's anything good down there. Wow, that goes deep. That is certain death down there. Some pretty cool flowers. I don't think we can really do too much with those. What is that? I think there's, like, on the other side of the mountain, you may have noticed another ore. I think that was magnetite. I believe this also might be magnetite. I'm not too sure. We're going to check. Um, gypsum. Gypsum is lead, I think. No, gypsum is useless. Okay, we'll throw that out. We do not need that. All right, let's uh, let's keep looking around, see if we can find any more ruins. That is awesome that we got a rope from that. Really cool stuff. Oh no, it's getting dark again. I'm probably going to have to hide in a hole until it becomes day again, and then we can keep exploring. Let's see what we've got. Some limonite. Okay, yeah, it's definitely getting dark, so let's find a place to hide. Ooh, coal. And another ravine. Let's let's grab some coal from this mountain. What kind of coal? Just regular? Okay. And let's hide out for a second, and I'll be right back when it's daytime, and we can carry on exploring. I think, obviously, we can't go any further. It looks like there's ocean that way. We'll kind of do a loop around this island, I think, and see what else we can find. Hopefully some more ruins. As I said, I feel kind of bad for destroying them. That's why I kind of headed like 2,000 blocks away from the base so that other people have a chance to go and explore some ruins and find some cool stuff. Uh, but yeah, I will be right back once it's daytime. Okay, guys, so the moon is going down. I can see the sun coming up just over there. we got some pretty cool fog coming in. I love this morning fog stuff. Really, really awesome. I also did notice that there's some limonite or limonite in the mountains here as well. There's so much iron in these hills. It is absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. There's loads of iron over in this, uh, this island place. Not so much copper, though. I haven't really seen any copper, which kind of sucks. But anyway, we're going to keep exploring. More coal everywhere. Going to keep exploring. Go. Should we go around this way? Let's do it. I'm actually going to take back these these blocks because they're really useful. And probably one of my favourite types of wood, this uh, white cedar. I love it so much. Oh, we have a uh, javelin skelly up there. Let's just keep going. They should despawn in a minute. Whoa. Loads of iron. Cool. I think it has actually, this uh, this mod pack has been modified so that the ore spawns higher than it usually would. Uh, so you will find quite a lot of surface deposits. Okay, let's, let's get our water jug on the bar. Let's take a drink and we can actually keep going this way. I thought it was just, uh, it was just water over this way, but it seems there is more land. So let's head over this way. There's another awesome ruin. 
I think that's another one that I built as well. Pretty cool. There's another fruit tree over there. Sweet. We might go and try and get some saplings from that. Uh, let's head over to this ruin first. I really, I really should have brought my prospector's pick. That was really stupid of me not to bring that. But anyway, hopefully we can see any ore deposits with the uh, the little rocks and debris stuff that renders on the ground. But we'll probably have to come back to actually actually harvest some of it. Okay, now this one. This one's definitely got a spawner. I'm almost certain this one has a spawner in it. Yeah, we can see it there. Twilight forest mobs. I think that's like some red caps or something. Sweet. Let's go. Hopefully there's no more spawners because we would get wrecked. Oh, there is another one. Let's get that quickly. Whew. And I apologize for the annoying dog barking in the background. Not much I can do about that, unfortunately. Got some cool bookshelves, some sweet flaxbeard pipes. I should probably harvest these because these are going to be really, really useful in the future. Can we... Whoa, don't do that. Can we get up here? Let's put a plank down so that we can go upstairs. Sweet. Okay, let's, let's loot this chest and see what we've got. We've got some rye seeds, cool. Some sugar canes, more string. Uh, I'd love to find some jute seeds. That would be a really awesome, awesome piece of loot. Uh, let's take these bookshelves. Oh, they break into books. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, in this mod pack, we do actually have enchanting tables. Really, really cool stuff. Usually in Terraformacraft, you don't have enchanting tables, but in this we do. We have uh, one wolf changed the recipe so that you can craft it using uh, certain types of TFC gems. So we've got the TFC diamonds there. It has to be two of the same type, I believe, and they have to be flawless. Rubies, sapphires, what was that one? Amethysts, diamonds, obviously. Really cool stuff. I I cannot wait to get an enchanting table. There's also some Douglas fur logs. I love me some Douglas fur. Right, let's... Are you going to break? Thank you. Let's get this bookshelf as well. How are we doing for inventory space? Okay, we lost a book. Let's get that. And steam tanks. They are really really useful. I think they're really valuable as well, actually. I think they're quite hard to create. Let's check up steam, and where are the steam tanks? That's a boiler thing, flash boiler. Steam tank, steam tank. There it is. Yeah, so brass sheets, or, or brass ingots. Hang on. That doesn't make sense. Brass sheet is two ingots. Uh, yeah, okay, so we'll, if we're making those, we'll definitely use Ingots. Anyway, let's let's harvest some of these pipes as well. Awesome. I feel I kind of feel bad. I've said this before. I feel bad for like looting stuff. I shouldn't really, because uh, that's the whole point of stuff. But I kind of feel bad for getting to stuff first before anyone else and looting it all. But I, I suppose if anyone needs to use this stuff, they can. Once I get it all set up, I don't think we have the resources to actually start using any of this steam power stuff. What's this? Steam heater. Cool, let's take that as well. And some pipes. Let's try and get back in. Thank you. Awesome. I'm going to... I'm going to collect... Oh, birch planks. Yeah, baby. Oh, man. I do not have the inventory space for this. What have we got in this vessel? Can we put books in there? We can. Can we put... Oh, really? We can put a hobby steam engine in there? Really? Okay, so it seems because these things don't have weight, they can uh, they can be stored in a vessel as well. Kind of cheaty, but awesome at the same time. I'm going to exploit it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to harvest as much of these uh, steam pipe things as I can. I probably shouldn't spend too long because it's going to be um, night time again soon. And I don't really want to have to hold, like, hide away in a little one-by-one -one hole again. In fact, I think that's probably enough. I'm going to check the coordinates of this place. 2333 minus almost 6,000. I'll probably come back 
off camera and do some looting because diorite, smooth diorite, I love this stuff. And I want more. More, I tell you. So yeah, I'll probably, probably come back in between episodes or off camera and loot some more of this stuff. Hopefully people on the server don't mind me like tearing down these ruined things. I'm sure there's plenty more to be seen, to be harvested. Oh, fail. Oh, I still got it though. Awesome. See, so yeah, I'll come back and get some more stuff from this place. I really want the birch planks. I love me some birch. Uh, haven't got a sapling yet. That quest didn't work to uh, get the birch sapling, which kind of sucks. Maybe that will be fixed, or maybe I had to just log out to to get that to work. Anyway, let's keep exploring. Hopefully we can find a decent copper mine, because that is really, really needed at this stage. I, I might actually... I should probably go back to... Uh, Back to the spawn area, because I found loads and loads of malachite on the surface as we were running around exploring, looking for somewhere to build, so that's probably a good idea. I'll probably find some some decent veins over there. But I also need some grain of some sort, because I'm going to be using a lot of it to tame these sheeps to get them familiar. There's some Looks like there's some more limonite. Whoa, loads of it. Actually, is this... Yeah, this... <laughs> this is the place that I just was. What a noob. We're going this way. Because we haven't been there before. <laughs> so noob. So derp. Anyway, we're going to head this way. See if we can find anything else. What is that? That is magnetite. Man, this place has just got so much iron. Can't wait till we get to the iron stage. We'll be good then. We won't have to worry about too much stuff, although we're still going to need loads and loads of copper for this flax beard stuff, because you need loads of brass for that. Uh, if you look here, there's loads of awesome stuff, like Archimedes Screw will basically pull out water from uh, water sources, only works with vanilla water though, which kind of sucks, but pretty cool. Uh, Railcraft steam engines, not too sure if they work with these things. And the, the best thing about this uh, flax beard stuff is the exo suit armor. That stuff, so cool. So cool. We need to, definitely need to make some of that. And yeah, pistons are craftable in this, by the way, in this mod pack. Pistons and sticky pistons. I'm not too sure how we get slime balls at the moment. Although I did see a weird kind of slime scorpion thing. So freaking weird. But I think that's probably the way that you get slime balls. So we can make sticky pistons and normal pistons. Uh, I'd like to make some pretty cool inventions or little like piston doors and stuff using pistons obviously how else would you make piston doors uh, let's try and get a fruit sapling from this what is that plums I think yeah plums cool let's keep exploring and I apologize for my keyboard sounds I think yeah my keyboard sounds are pretty loud not much I can really do about that right now Apart from turn my mic down, but then you guys probably won't be able to hear me too well. Uh, hopefully, I will get a, a quieter keyboard soon. I've been looking at some some sweet Razer keyboards, but they are like 150 quid for a stealth keyboard. So I'll try and get one of those. I also need to get a second monitor set up. That'll be awesome. Then I can like do lots more stuff. There's the building we just looted. Some more frickin' limonite in the ground, really? Holy crap. Anyway, let's keep going. That looks like a dangerous drop. Let's go over to this forest and see what we can find, and then we'll probably start heading back. I believe the village is that way. The sun's going down again, so we've probably been going for about 20 minutes now, I think. Well, 20 minutes worth of footage. Anyway, that is Galena, I think, which is lead. And I do believe you need lead for some railcraft stuff, so that is actually useful now in terra firma craft. Like usually that has no use whatsoever. Ooh, hematite, so more iron. Not really gonna worry about that too much just yet, because we can't do anything with iron. Uh, that's another ruin thing, they're really cool. That's actually I think that's uh, one of the easiest ways to get vanilla water sources. Actually, no, I think once you get a vanilla bucket. I'm not too sure if you can craft those. I don't think you can, but you can get them as drops from certain mobs. 
Uh, once you get a vanilla bucket, you can just pick up TFC water and it turns into vanilla water and then you can use that to do stuff. That looks like a new type of stone. It is dacite. Okay, we might need this for one of the quests. So I'll, I'll grab a few pieces of that and we'll hide out for the night time and I'll probably... I'll have another look round once it hits daytime and then we'll probably head back. So if... Uh, we don't find anything else, I'll just head straight back to the base and I'll see you guys there. But for now, I'm going to have to hide in a hole because it's getting dark and I do not want to be caught out by some infernal mobs. They are bad news. Really bad news. So, I'll be right back once again, once it's daytime. Okay guys, so daytime again and I came back to... I didn't find anything over there really, so I came back to the... Uh, the house that we were looting, the ruins house thing, and I've just been scavenging some blocks from it. I don't need that redstone torch. Get out of my inventory. I'm mainly looking for like a stack, about a stack of uh, of logs will do. And obviously we can come back and get some more if we need to. And mainly these aspen and birch planks because they look awesome. Probably my favorite types of wood in this. And also the birch logs do look really cool, so I've got a few of those. Uh, but hopefully we can find some birch trees sometime soon. So yeah, now this just looks ugly as hell. I apologise, I'm going to make a quick sign uh, say it's looted. Obviously, if people can't already tell that it's been looted, but just so nobody thinks it's like generated this way. I'm just going to put a quick sign to tell people it's been looted. And we're going to head back to the base and do some... Do some cool stuff. Well, we need, really need to get back there so we can feed the sheep again. Because uh, if you don't feed them, as I said, they will lose familiarity, I think. And hopefully it's not too quick. Like, hopefully we haven't undone all the work that we were doing. I only fed them like three or four times. But yeah, we need to get back there and start feeding them some more. Because we need to we need to get them familiarized. Once you get them fami fully familiarized, then uh, it won't it won't go down. Like, you won't lose it at all. So yeah, we need to do that. I'm going to head back to the base. Let's get F3 up quickly so I can make sure I'm going in the right direction. Yeah, we just need to go west about 2,000 blocks and we should be good. So I'll see you guys when I'm back there. We may find some more cool stuff along the way. I think that might be a berry bush over there. But yeah, I don't really have much inventory space for it. I've got all my vessels full and I have like two slots left. I should have probably got some more dacite, uh, just in case we need it for a quest, but I will check on the quest book, and we can always come back here and explore some more. But yeah, let's also take a drink. That's the ruin as well. I don't think there's any, um, any spawners in it, though, or any loot, so we'll just leave it. Looks pretty cool. Not too sure what it is. Oh, is that a rail track on top? Sweet. So yeah, we're going to head back to the base, and I'll see you guys when we're there. Unless we find any cool stuff along the way, then obviously I'll show you that as well. Aha! Looks like I found the the place where I found the original sheep. There's another one walled up here. That's what I did. I just walled them up so they couldn't escape. Uh, looks like we found them, so that means the males, the other male sheep, should be just over here. And that means we can probably kill one or two of them. Depending on how many there is, that is Galena, I believe. Uh, the lead stuff. So let's go over... Ooh, what is that? Is that another ruin? I think that might be a ruin. That might be where the guys that came over to bring the sheep back actually uh, stayed for the night. So they didn't get destroyed by all the mobs and stuff. That is another male. Is there another one? That's a female. Hmm, I guess we can kill this one because there's a female just over there. So we have another two spares just in case anything bad happens. I'm going to kill this one so we can get some more sheepskin. And let's get rid of the bones for now. Where's the mutton? I know I had mutton in here somewhere. Hey, wait. I swear I did. Yeah, in this one. Okay, let's... Uh Man, is it really getting dark again already? Holy poops. Let's... Please, S. Okay, we probably have to get out of that. Let's 
S. There we go. Combine those. Put it back. Now it's too big to go in the vessel. Okay. Let's put the dacite in there and let's go back to the base. Hopefully we can get to the water before it gets dark. There's some water there. Okay, let's go and hop in a boat and we should be safe. There's also some kaolinite or kaolinite over here, which we need for fire clay. Obviously, we need graphite as well for that, which is going to be a lot harder to find. Oh, and some tetrahedrite. Cool, this might be a decent copper vein. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to dig down and check it out. But at the moment, we really don't have time. We're going to head back to... Whoa, that's a big drop. We're going to head back via boat. Okay, let's do it. And I'll see you guys when we're back at the base. Okay, now I don't feel so bad about destroying that ruin. Because on the way back, I found another blacksmith ruin and another of the house ruin things. Hopefully this isn't the one that I was scavenging from. I don't think it is. No, there's definitely planks over there. So there is more... <gasps> and some grain. Yes, that is one of the big things I was coming for. There is more stuff for the other guys on the server to loot. I'm not hogging everything, so... I'll leave these these for other people to go and explore and loot. I will take this grain, however, because uh, I need that for breeding some sheep or taming some sheep. What can we throw away? Ladders. Probably don't need those. Steer, uh, blah, 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 shovel and the knife. I can always make more. So let's grab some of these. Com combine it and... Then we'll keep heading back. I think I'm probably still about a thousand blocks away. Uh, combine. Combine. Sweet. I also found some blackberry bushes. So yeah, I'm going to keep heading back. I'm going to get a quick screenshot of that for the thumbnail. And then I'll keep heading back. So I'll see you guys when I'm back at the base. I know I've probably said that about a million times in this episode. But yeah, be right back. Okay guys, so we're back at the village. It's just about getting dark, so we got here just in time. And I think it's time to put our loot away. We got a really, really nice haul from that stuff. And we also need to feed these sheep quickly before it turns to another day. None have escaped so far. I think we've been around, um, been gone for like five Minecraft days or so. Still can't really see any change in there familiarity which sucks it's going to be a lot of feeding a lot of being online to actually get these guys familiarized so that we can breed them and also uh, shear them for wool luckily we have some sheepskins so we should be able to get some wool uh, i'll probably do that in the next episode we'll have to make a loom that they've pretty much eaten all the grass you fatty bum bums aren't you oh man we will uh We'll have to make some wool in the next episode, uh, loom, sorry, uh, one of these things up here. They're pretty easy to make, but it's it's getting pretty late now. We're probably getting to the end of the episode. So we'll have to do that in the next episode. Is one of those one of those fruit trees grown? Yeah, sweet. That looks like an orange tree. Uh, yeah, we'll do that in the next episode and also uh, make a map. I think the only way of getting a map in this mod pack is by making an antique atlas and to do that you need a compass now usually we would have to make iron to make a compass but we've kind of changed it or the mod pack creator one wolf has changed it so we can make uh, a compass using bronze regular bronze or bismuth uh, there is also black bronze i don't think that works apparently uh, but yeah good stuff we can make that using bronze which we can do we just need four ingots and we can get a compass, then we can make the antique atlas so we can map stuff out. And I believe you can use it to set markers as well, which is really, really useful. We need markers more than anything. So yeah, let's uh, let's check out our hall. Let's put some, some food away in here. Also found some more grains and some soybeans. Sweet, we've got rice, oats, amazing. Put the apple away in there, mutton, loads of seeds. I will try and plant those if we have spare space in our farm somewhere. Oh, pardon me. Uh, let's also get these uh, get these berry bushes down somewhere. Where can we put them? Let's just... Uh... Oh yeah, they don't grow on regular dirt. I think it has to be grass 
for them to grow. That will do. So they should grow. Let's uh, let's go put some more stuff away. I've got a really, really nice haul from that stuff. Let's put these vanilla chests away. I uh, believe you can make hoppers in this. Yes, yeah, sweet. You can make hoppers using... They do take vanilla chests, though, which kind of sucks. Uh, let's actually search... Res oh, no, you can make them using TFC chests. Awesome. Really awesome. Let's... This wooden box thing is pretty cool. It's like a portable chest with like nine slots, although it's not really too necessary because we've got uh, we've got vessels and large vessels. Might I'll probably save my vanilla chests for something else. Uh, let's put some of these planks in here. So many sweet, sexy planks. Let's put the white cedar in there as well. Douglas fir. Uh, also, I made a little food prep area although we need uh need lots of bowls for that so i'll probably try and make some bowls in between episodes which requires loads of clay or you can just make sandwiches which means you don't need bowls which is awesome you can actually get all five food groups in there i believe so that's really cool let's check our vessels no that's a chest more seeds hemp seeds i'm really really confused about what hemp does Let's empty these vessels and I'll check any eye for hemp and see what that actually does or what we can make from it. Cool, got some books, a hobbyist steam engine from Railcraft and some steam tanks. They are really useful stuff. Let's put all those in there. And seeds, more seeds, so many seeds. Put those in there, got some plum trees. I will plant those when it gets to daytime again. I don't like going out in daytime without any armor and just a bismuth sword because those infernal mobs will wreck your face, like seriously wreck your face. So yeah, I've, I've had a spider that shoots fireballs come after me once and that was not a pleasant experience. Anyway, let's, uh, let's chomp down some soybeans. I think that's all of our chests or vessels done. String, we can actually make a bow. Let's check the uses of string. We can make cloth, obviously, silk cloth. Make a bow and some leads. Really? Can we actually make those? Okay. Um, painting canvas, tape measure reel, fishing rod, bow. Survivalist toolkit. Makeshift suppressor. Really? Okay. That's probably for the uh, muskets and stuff. Acoustic dampener. I think that's for the exosuits. And balloons, obviously. Candles. Sweet. Loads of balloons. Awesome. And we can also... We need that for fancy lanterns. Cool. So I'll probably make a bow, actually. Uh, there is a an arrows mod in this, which has some really cool arrows. I don't, I'm not too sure if all of them are craftable. I know that this rope arrow is craftable. Uh, there's also some other cool ones, like a torch arrow, but I don't think this recognizes the TFC torches. Uh, some other ones like a void arrow, warp arrow, and a is there a void one or am, am I just derping, penetrating? Anyway, starting server backup process. Hopefully that doesn't kick me off because that would suck. Uh, anyway, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. In the next one, as I said, we'll make the loom, try and get some get some wool cloth so that we can make a bed. Um, I threw all my sticks away, didn't I? That was kind of stupid. Let's, uh... We got a scythe? We do have a scythe. Let's get some sticks quickly and I'll make a bow. Because that's a pretty cool thing to have. Whoa. All the sticks. Sweet. So let's make a bow quickly and then I'll call it for this episode. In the next one, uh, we'll make the, the loom thing, get some wool, and it's probably not going to be enough to make a bed, I don't think. Uh, but it'll be nice to have something, and then we'll also make that antique atlas if possible. And do some other cool stuff. Hopefully get on to... Possibly, hopefully we'll find a uh, copper vein and I can start working on some more stuff like an anvil and loads of cool stuff like tools and yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, as always, guys, and I'll see you next time.